stabilizing a stump here. Got my helper, a little hungry squirrel. Come on now. Be good. Anyway, got a stump. Don't know what this is. Found it on the side of the road. Um, got some cactus juice over here. It is an old stump. You can see these cracks and nastiness here. I, uh, it looks pretty dirty still. Hey, you back. It looks pretty dirty still, but, uh, you need to go find somewhere else. Like, go to the trees or something. Got a four-quart, a <laughs> four-quart <laughs> bucket here. Looks like I turned it with that in mind, because you know, it's hard for you to tell. Actually, here's the liner. and put it in the liner. So, the liner is just, uh, I figured it might be good. Sorry. Apologize for this. There you go. Right. Turn the, do that with the flash on maybe it's a little bit better you can see and it just sits right down in there I'd like it to be a little deeper because when you turn on the vacuum we've got a vacuum chamber over here a glass top and a squirrel on top and uh when you turn the vacuum on the fluid level is going to kind of go down as the cactus juice soaks into the wood at least that's what i'm told this is my first attempt here this is probably what I'll cast, so after I get through stabilizing, I'm actually going to do resin casting on this stump and fill these voids with a casting resin. We'll see how that goes. And I really need to give this guy a nut. Come here. Let's see if I got something in my pocket that you'll like. Nope. That ain't a nut. I may be out. You may be out of luck. Yep, he's out of luck. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this cactus juice. Uh, you put this one part comes with it in the whole uh, jug. Ouch, you bit me. It's not a nut, it's not a nut. Let's see what it is. Anyway, uh, to activate it, and then I'm gonna get it poured in here. Uh, get it set inside the vacuum chamber. That's just some uh, oil and a little silicone pad. We'll take that out, it came with the vacuum chamber. And we'll start the... Uh, stabilizing process all right got that activator added into the cactus juice and shaken up <laughs> and fixing to pour that in uh, before i do i might just make a quick note i did this was stump was already pretty dry but i did cook it in the easy bake oven that's the second step you gotta cook after you add the cactus juice and you get get it all stabilized get it all soaked into the wood then you got to cook it in here at 200 degrees but uh, i was just saying i i cooked it all last night just uh it's pretty lightweight i was gonna weigh it first but i suppose i'm gonna just uh not but uh anyway it was it did get just a slight bit lighter i checked the uh, it was like six percent humidity so i know sorry 12 percent humidity uh here in florida coming from outside that's that's probably as good as i'm ever gonna get uh anyway now i don't know what it is now i suppose i could check it now let's so get my little moisture meter <laughs> Oh, that's where you take the batteries. We'll do another lesson on uh, how to use a moisture meter or how to open one. <laughs> and I'll let you do that and I'll watch it. Let's see where we are now. And I can't even get it to read. Ah, zero. Let's see. Oh, it cooked all night last night. 220 degrees, so any water in there should. Right. Nothing left now but to do it. Let's put it in there. Stuff pretty thin, as you can see. This is going to take probably pretty close to this full gallon. I don't know. We'll see uh, how much volume the stump takes up. The container itself is a gallon container. Stump barely fits, but of course some of it is stump. Uh-oh. I knew that was going to happen. But, uh, still kind of caught me off guard. I'm going to get something to stick on top of that. All right. Got a <laughs> part of my shredder on there. Hopefully that's enough. So you're supposed to pour the cactus juice over the top. My container is, uh, may not allow that. I'm not going to keep the very back end of this thing anyway. Now, 
I'm gonna have a delicate process of getting this inside the vacuum chamber, which uh, hindsight, I should have poured that inside the vacuum chamber. I'm gonna spare you the joys of watching me spill all my stuff while I get this put in the vacuum chamber. All right, I got it in there. Something on those, it's kind of funny. I don't see him now. There was actually some, uh, hey guy, hey buddy. Um, some spiders that came out of the log there. They're in for a bad day. Let me uh, turn the light off. All right, so got it in there. Uh, fixing to turn on the vacuum pump, and that will probably be the end of my squirrel friend, at least uh, for the short term, because it's gonna make a lot of noise. Yep, yep there he goes. All right, so I'll turn the vacuum pump on, and I'm gonna close it off. Another way. Should start drawing a vacuum. Hmm. Gotta figure out. Oh yeah. Get it going a little bit. Right, so it does draw a vacuum on there. Maybe I gotta push on it a little bit to get it started. I did this earlier, of course, it worked just fine. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video here and figure out what the heck. Okay, whoa boy. So, I've got my lid. I did just have to push on it, by the way. Probably had some sand or something in there. So, kind of got to mitigate how quickly uh, your vacuum forms here because air is going to start coming out of the stump and I don't have a very deep container so I would easily overfill the container make a bit of a mess which I probably will end up doing go ahead and shut the vacuum off again get it make it start getting a little bit more vacuum back out here so we can see the gauge start going up and then we'll start seeing more bubbles come out back off just a little bit, try to find kind of a happy medium. I'll have to do this for a little while. I'm just controlling that with this uh, valve right here on this side. So this is the air, um, allowing air to come in actually. <laughs> had to think a little bit there. Vacuum pumps over here, that was $50 on Amazon. Uh, this little glass top um, vacuum chamber is I think it's 150 for the five gallon version. I've heard it's important to get glass tops. I heard this cactus juice is bad on the uh, acrylic or polycarbonate ones. We'll set this right here for a little bit. I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. Eventually I'll draw this off and let it draw a complete vacuum and uh, hold it there for oh, until it quits bubbling. Probably a couple hours. Okay, we're down to about a half vacuum. So zero is one atmosphere, zero vacuum. This is one atmosphere vacuum, which would be zero air in the chamber. You can see we're a little over half and the bubbling's really slowed down quite a bit. I don't have it completely shut off yet. I've been fine-tuning it actually with this little uh, deal here. Let me go ahead and uh, close it off completely. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's starting to get more bubbles. You see the vacuum is dropping. It's starting to get quite a bit more bubbles. Probably going to have to back it off again. Yeah. Again, I'm just 
fine tuning it right there. You see now we're a little closer. down on the vacuum again, I got it completely shut off. Pulling a lot of air out, which means we're letting a lot of resin in. I may have to actually stop this and uh, put some more resin in, depending on how much of it soaks in. I've got just a little bit of my pot sticking out there, which, like I say, I don't really care about that. It's interesting, you see the resin actually, though, coming up through that. Uh, you can see it coming out of there on the top, so it's actually drawing it up through that wood like a straw. It's Probably kind of a good thing, actually. Uh -oh. We're actually pretty close to a full vacuum. Even if that's all the vacuum we get, I'll be pretty happy. Still not quite ready for that. Alright, I'm going to let that foam for a little while. Alright, see there now, it's down... Uh Pretty close to a full vacuum. I did have to push on the top of this lid again to get it to kind of keep going down. I probably got some sawdust on there. It wasn't that way uh, when I did my uh, initial test in the house, but um, as you can see, I don't keep a very clean shop. The squirrels love it that way. <laughs> Some people say that squirrels are destructive and mess up a lot of stuff in your shop. and uh, That's true. They do. Little turds chew on all kinds of stuff. Uh, do all kinds of things like that. But, you know, my kids are pretty destructive. But I don't poison them and haul them off and relocate them out into the woods. So, anyway, I don't do that with my, my squirrel kids either. Okay, now you know my shop's a mess. So I put on it only because it matches the rest. That's my life. Let me draw that vacuum down just a little bit more. You can see the gauge is coming down slowly. I'm trying to push on the lid here. And, uh, seem to be making a difference, but they're getting a few more bubbles, though. Still almost a full vacuum. I'll probably leave that pump on for a little while since my seal's a little bit leaky. Um, I tried to keep this closed all the time, but, you know, I've got a lot of sawdust out here, and I guess I probably just got sawdust on there on the seal on the edge it just sits on there but the vacuum is trying to pull the lid down so it's actually a pretty easy seal to maintain and to get it going you just push on the lid uh, when you get started and it holds pretty good I mean I can uh, shut this off you hear the vacuum the pump come up shut the pump off I mean it, it holds pretty good it doesn't just start going up right away Clean that seal off it'll be a lot better but you know with the vacuum pump I've heard a lot of people have to leave it on though I've seen some people leave it on all night I don't plan on doing that uh, this is a first stab at this and if it doesn't turn out the greatest I'm not gonna be heartbroken but I thought I'd get in here and try it out I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos everybody else is out in their garage having fun I figured it's my time so just as a reference, um, I am at almost 100% vacuum, and uh, bubbling did start back up a little bit, so it's probably important to get that vacuum down as low as you can and hold it there for a little while. Because like I say, it had quit bubbling altogether, and I was up at probably, I don't know, 26 or 7 here instead of closer to 30, 29. Uh, still pretty close to a you know, pretty solid vacuum uh, and it quit bubbling. But I thought, well, I will uh, 
Gotta take it down a little bit further and see what happens and it's bubbling again. So there's definitely air coming out. Alright, so there is almost no bubbles still coming out of this. There's still a little bit. It's been going for I don't know, 30 minutes maybe. We're at full vacuum. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. We'll let it stay at vacuum as long as it will and uh, come back I'll try it one more time what do you want what do you want huh you want to be fed this is scribbles she likes to hang out in my wood shop cricket over there I don't know, they've been in there I don't know maybe 10 minutes or something and you can see it's lost a little bit of the vacuum I don't have a perfect seal but I'm gonna go ahead and let it out because something I planned on doing and just totally forgot so I've got these pieces of a dead cedar tree that uh, I'm gonna put in there I think these will make some uh, neat I don't know something <laughs> we'll see I don't know if you call that burl or not. It's, it's basically it's where once the the branch enters the uh, trunk, and it's just got uh, on that edge. So this is the branch cut. You can see the grain there is circular. This would be the trunk where it meets the trunk. But then there's just all kinds of weirdness that happens in there. Some worm holes. Anyway, I am going to release my vacuum off and uh i suggest doing that kind of slowly I, maybe you're supposed to do it fast i see a lot of people do it fast uh one thing that happens is you can see right here this is where the air uh is coming in you can see i can mess with that this is where the air is coming in and it comes in the pot through that little thing there it's pointing straight down and it'll actually blow into your uh fluid if you just do it from a straight vacuum we're already low enough now I can open it but um, blow stuff everywhere I'd rather not have stuff everywhere anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these things and I'm gonna shove them right down in those pockets and I'm just gonna do that whole step everything again uh, and stabilize these little guys which they may not need it but uh, what the heck I've got it all out and going all right, so I just kind of got them wedged in there that big piece is just holding some of the smaller ones down. Let me get a better angle. Oh, here's something that's interesting. The uh, vacuum pump, I don't know if you can see this or not. Anyway, if you were here in real life, you would see there is a oil cloud coming out of this thing. It's going to get on everything. I'll probably put some kind of over that. I don't know what. I'm gonna go find some. Right, so there's my wonderful invention. I have a foil cloud going up inside the bucket. At least it's not gonna get all over everything around here. So these are actually, uh, the whole stump is actually boiling in a lot again. So I heard you're supposed to do this a couple of times. So we'll be doing it anyway. The bigger stuff's just holding little stuff down. It's kind of like a weight. So there's some little pieces of cedar. I'll probably do this whole step again so the stump will end up getting three. As you can see we're up at a full vacuum. Still getting some bubbles coming out of that cedar I put in there. This is interesting. The uh, This piece of cedar is sticking out at least two inches from the cactus juice and it's sucking up through the cedar and bubbling out the top. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to do it. But it's interesting. So this is a third cycle and you can see it's actually fizzing up through the wood again these are the parts that are sticking out uh, so getting like another good dose of uh, air out of the wood which pretty much is going to translate to resin in the wood Anyway, I wouldn't have done three cycles except I would just put these other parts and pieces and I've been kind of flipping them over 
I'm not too worried about them. We'll see if that works. They're about half submerged. And then I'll flip them over and do the other half, which I've already done on these. And we're getting down close again to the vacuum. All right. Probably not supposed to do that, sticking them in and out. But I just flipped those over and redid them a few times. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my little pot, uh, oven ready. Got a tray down there with a grill on top of it. I'm not going to wrap it in tin foil. Um, but let me go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand here. Yeah. part out of there. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to do where it's already dried. That may be a problem. Maybe not. I don't know. These are just kind of a extra extra thing I tried to do. Oh. threw that in there just because all right here comes the main attraction definitely looks different my cactus juice is kind of red I'm sure that's from the cedar Let's go ahead and put this up in there. Maybe if I showed you what I was doing, that would make a better video. Would all right? I'm gonna just throw these guys just in around wherever. Leaving a little gap for air between all of them. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> Alright. So there's the stack of parts in the oven. We'll go ahead and put the temperature gauge. I've read that these things, not read, but I've watched that these things are notoriously not accurate, and I found that to be true. All right, it's on. I've got it set at 250, which uh, last night, I baked that thing all night last night, and uh, 250 is what was a little over 200. And we'll come back, see what it looks like uh, in the morning. I'll probably just let it cook all night. All right, so there is the line of cactus juice. So you can see it was up about here, and now it's down to there. So that much of it went somewhere uh, in the wood, I suppose. <laughs> I hope I have uh, very little drips over there, and a little few drips in the in this here. But for the most part, it's all back in there or in the wood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> smoking pretty sure that's not supposed to happen uh, I turned the temperature down just a little bit I'm gonna bring it up to temp I'll try to go a little slower so I was uh you can see it's pretty good smoke coming out of there uh, and I'm not even up to temperature yet those elements were getting really hot I, I think I was having some areas that were considerably hotter than 200 so I've got it at 150 right now it back up again until I see them start getting orange and uh, anyway we'll see I'll watch it for the first little while hopefully it'll quit smoking when I get it stabilized out at around 200 degrees maybe you're supposed to preheat this I've got some instructions over here I probably said I think the first sentence says read those fully and I did but it was a few days ago it's heat resistant to 400 degrees uh, we're not gonna read the instructions <laughs> Temperatures just barely getting up to 150.
it did quit smoking for a little bit, and then I cranked it up. Anyway, I, it quit smoking, and then I turned it up, and then it'll quit smoking, and I turned it up. I'm just going to leave it on 250, and I'll start turning it down once the thermometer says the time is right. All right, so I'm getting some of this stuff out of here. It's definitely heavier. You can tell that uh, that, that resin right there is, is set up, so... All of the resin was was dry because there's a little bit on the bottoms here uh, and these they're noticeably heavier these guys uh, I didn't weigh them before but they weren't really light before these these were actually fairly solid pieces of wood for <laughs> as full of holes as they look like they are um, I'll use those and I don't know project coming up pretty quick yeah anyway there they are so they're going to have some pretty neat uh, colors, patterns in them. Now, here uh, the grand show here. This is what, why uh, I got the cactus juice. Uh, not particularly this exact stump, but this kind of thing. Son of a gun, it's hot. Uh, you can see uh, a bit of cactus juice down there in the bottom. It's all uh, cured. So some of it definitely came out, and uh, this guy is, he's definitely heavier. I really should have weighed, ah, it's a good hot still. <laughs> but uh, you can see a little cactus juice there. See a little bit in the, the cracks, but cactus juice is not supposed to fill the cracks. Uh, so the air, it's supposed to get down in the pores and stabilize the wood, and it's it's hard. Even here, I mean, this, this was some... Uh, Kind of just soft nastiness here, and uh, it's it's good it's good and solid. Let's see. I'll turn it down. Uh, yeah, I'll probably cast it first. I'm gonna cast this one in clear resin and uh, make it into a vase. And I think this orientation or a bowl or whatever. Uh, so I'll probably do that. I probably won't turn it between now and then, but uh, it's good and solid. It would not have been a good stump for this had I not stabilized it. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, this up here was really soft. This was just like mushy, and it's it's hard. All right, well there you have it. Cactus juice stabilization. I, uh, I'll do another video where I actually finish this off. This is just about doing the cactus juice. It took me a, all in all about eight hours, but I was really doing a lot of other stuff and uh, just kind of coming back and checking on things from time to time. A uh, couple of notes. Uh, cleanup was real easy. Uh, water and just paper towels cleaned it right up. Uh, and then also it didn't really have a lot of smell. I was surprised uh, for a resin. I, I guess I was expecting <laughs> something <that's> hot. <laughs> I was expecting uh, something like a surfboard shop and uh, very little smell. There's there's a little bit of smell. Even when I had uh, smoke rolling out of my uh, little oven there, uh, there wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of smell. But uh, overall, so far, I'm pleased. I mean, we'll see the what it looks like in the end. Uh, and all in all, it really may not depend on the cactus juice you know I don't have any idea what kind of wood this is I have a feeling it may be Brazilian pepper um, but which is not the greatest for turning uh, from what I read it's probably the worst anyway this the one I found it's a stump I found on the side of the road and we're gonna see what we can make out of it after we pour it full of resin next step <laughs>